What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for all signs, got two sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys so much. I do, I do, I do. Who? Thanks for all the new subscribers. We're 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 at like sixteen thousand and fifty subscribers. So appreciate all the love and support. If you like to donate, type Priestess to reply. The links in the description box below. Uh, PayPal only. No cash out. Move Venmo. I don't ask you for money in the comment section below. If you see the WhatsApp scammers posing as my picture and my YouTube handle, please report them. Um, just saying, just saying. They put a number down there and a WhatsApp and asking for money and all kinds of shit. That's not me. Okay. All right, so I'm pulling in Secret 7, Heavy Secret 7 this weekend, but that's what we got. So just saying, just saying. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I did uh, Virgo's sign reading. So if anybody's interested in Virgo's sign reading, I did upload it yesterday. Okay, it's a little, it's pretty heavy. Um, there's some good messages in there, but there's some heavy messages for some low vibrational Virgos. Okay. Okay. So the channel message I received was, I heard a... Um, um, a cancer energy, um, masculine and feminine cancer energies and an air sign energy, masculine and fem air sign energies. So masculine and fem cancer, they have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, work, moon, and Hamish, Jupiter, charts, and masculine and fem air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, they have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, work, moon, and Hamish, Jupiter, charts. Um, I heard they set, uh, intentionally set up single mom Leo in the past. So I'm original single mom Leo. For anybody who doesn't know that, single mom Leo is the secret seven. I am original single mom Leo. Now, there are other single mom Leos in secret seven because those people didn't get, they still haven't got caught, still to this day. And so, and they're huge ass scammers, spammers, and frauds. So they basically opened up a Pandora's box for other scammers, spammers, and frauds and created other single mom Leo S type situations with hidden cameras all over the universe. Now, in 2021, we helped, I mean, I was getting messages about hidden cameras when I went full time with this in 2021, when I quit the nursing home um, and just started doing this full time. We were apprehending people left and right and left and right, left and right, like power the people energy, because I was getting messages in here to check your home, check your home, check your home. I've almost a thousand of you guys text me, email me communicated with me almost a thousand of my subscribers i only had about eight thousand subscribers at that time seven or eight thousand subscribers my subscriber counts about doubled since then but my point is um hey oh my god i found a hidden camera oh my god i found a listening device oh my god i found uh, a tracker message after message after message after message um communication after communication after communication almost a thousand you guys so i know we've helped combat it very strongly on here very 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 strongly but um there are still uh hidden cameras out there i was picking one up in virgos her own husband's doing it to her libra's up it was picking it up cancers i was picking it up about three or four months ago so there are definitely still hidden cameras out there i think there always still will be but uh but doesn't mean we can't help combat it and i have since day one on this channel and that's just the truth because i know there was one in my house i know there was but still to this day nobody has told me there was one in my house because they don't want me to sue probably the city or the government or whatever but let me tell you once i find out there is i'm going to sue the government and the city and everybody because it was wrong and the thing is is cps knew there was child protective service knew there was a damn hidden camera in my house because one the six cps calls in a year Back when there was something in my house, the report, one of the reports was, when I asked what the report was on, the lady still told me I was walking around my bra and my underwear was the report in the CPS. Like I told the social worker. Well, if the report your, to your agency is saying I'm walking around my bra and my underwear, how do they know they are if they're not watching me through a voyeur camera? And I told... I actually told the uh, child protective service worker too at that meeting that um, I hired somebody 
to that I suspected there was a hidden camera in my house, and I told many people in the, my community that I suspected it. They, uh, the lawyer said I had to have evidence, and um, uh, and I didn't have evidence at that time. So I hired uh, ex cop three hundred and fifty dollars to come out and scan my house back at the very beginning. That ex cop and his little wife sidekick basically told me, "Oh, the batteries must have died." But then. Fast forward, and then I started getting those Child Protective Service reports on me. And then um, the report was I was walking around in my underwear. Well, because there was really a hidden camera in my house. Nobody just wanted to tell me because they didn't want me to be rich. And that's just the truth. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so that's a little update on The Secret 7. I'm original single mom of Secret 7. Just for people who doesn't know that you watch my channel. Okay, so I'm just trying to give you an update, okay? So they can, people, like I said, my community still hasn't told me to this day there's a hidden camera, was a hidden camera in my house because they didn't want me to be a rich bitch. Uh, and that's just the truth. But they can't stop the blessings coming to me, and that's just the truth. Um, they can stop the control, they can control the flow of information as they have. But I still know it was in my house from the Child Protective Service report. And the weird, crazy, weird shit that was just happening kept happening and happening and happening and happening and happening all over the place. So they can try to control the flow of information all they want, but reality is I know. I know there was. Because of what happened in that Child Protective Service report. And that's just the truth. And do I think my creepy DPX husband had a lot to do with that? Hell yes, I do. Do I think he voyeured through the camera? Hell yes, I do. Do I think he was trying to set me up? Hell yes, I do. And that's just the truth. Can I prove that? No. Okay. So I heard a cancer and a air sign. Mask and femme cancer, mask and femme air sign. I heard they um, intentionally set up single mom Leo, the secret seven, which is me. I'm the original. Now, there are other, are other single mom Leo's secret seven after me, but I'm the original. So just saying, just saying. Of course, you guys take the energy how it resonates. If you are a single mom Leo or any other sign that occurred after that shit, because after it happened to me and my community didn't take action and basically allowed me and my family to be abused and exploited through a hidden camera for forever, for the community's liking, um, other single mom and dad started getting exploited all over the universe so you take the energy how it resonates if you fit in over here you do okay but um anyway so these people the cancer mask on the femme and the um air side mask on the femme intentionally set up single mom leo and the secret seven because i heard single mom leo is the secret seven um but i heard through many series of chain events the energy is about to seriously backfire on them in a huge way I heard they don't even need set up energy. They are about to be federally investigated and other investigations. And um, their story is not going to match up. And the evidence is about to supersede in a huge way. And an Aries is about to be very pissed about this. But it's about to happen. Okay, I heard Aries is about to be very pissed about this, but it's about to happen. Okay, so... These people set you up, Single Mom Leo Secret 7, which I'm the original. So I'm sure this, hopefully this is for me. Um, but hopefully it's for a lot of you guys out there. Um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But the energy is about to boomerang back. However, this resonates and applies. Energy is about to boomerang back on these people. I heard they don't even need set up energy. They don't even need set up energy. So they're doing something in their life that's not upright or not correct. Or they want to hide or something. Um, or criminally, however that resonates and applies. But the energy is about to boomerang back on these people. Um, they were trying so hard to get you, single mom Leo, just saying, or any other sign, um, so hard. But energy is about to boomerang back on them, but I think it's because they have something to hide. They definitely have a lot to hide, and it's about to come out. Okay, I heard they definitely have a lot to hide, and it's about to come out. Yeah, that's what I, energy I was feeling. They definitely have a lot to hide, and it's about to come out. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, but I heard they don't even need a set up energy because they've done so much fuck shit basically in the universe. They've done so much fuck shit. They don't even need any like set up energy, which is sad, which is sad. But, you know, that's the choices these people have chose to make. And that's just the truth. 
I heard a lot of evidence. There's a lot of evidence here, whether it's already come in or it's about to come in. And um, people were covering for them for a long time, but they're about not to. People were covering for them for a long time, but they're about not to. So people were covering for these people for a long time, but they're about not to. Uh, mask and Femme Cancer, Mask and Femme Airsoft. Um, how that resonates and applies. And I heard that Aries is about to be very pissed. Some about a federal investigation and other investigations about to go on with these people. Um, and Aries is about to be pissed about this. I guess that maybe that these people are about to be um, investigated and hopefully brought to justice um, with the investigation. Because, you know, the investigation can go, it can go either way. But, um, Heard of Aries is about to be pissed about this. Mask of him, Aries, they have Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and him, which for charts. I guess because the Aries is probably in with these people, is what I'm thinking. Or they're frenzies with them or something. Now, whoever this Aries is, I didn't hear who this Aries is. The cancer and the air sign energies. One is a nurse. One is unemployed. Um, mother. Unemployed mother. One is a judge. Oh my God. Of the cancers, I heard one is a nurse. One is an unemployed mother. And one is a a judge of the cancers and the air signs, cancers and the air signs. So you plug in how it resonates. Um, we have a nurse, an unemployed mother, and a um, judge in this mix, at least. Um, but there's a lot of energies in here. So we have the cancer energy and the air sign energies, mask of them, cancer, mask of them, um, air signs. At least one of them is a nurse, RN, LPN, CRNP, etc., etc., etc. So we got nurse energy. One is um, an unemployed mother. So not working in the workforce, but has a child or children. And one is a judge. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my gosh. One works in manufacturing, one is a business owner. One works in manufacturing and one is a business owner. And one works in manufacturing and one is a business owner. But there's a lot of energies over here. So these people have to plug themselves in where they fit. Um, it's really sad. Um, but I heard they don't even need setup energy. They don't even need setup energy. Um, heavy addictions here. Very heavy addictions. Heavy addictions here, very heavy addictions. Alcoholism, drug usage, sex addictions, gambling. Okay, so heavy addictions, the whole gambit basically. Alcoholism, drug usage, uh, sex addictions, gambling. I mean, the whole mix over here. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, uh, well, yeah, I would say they have something to hide. Damn. I mean, I'm not saying I've been perfect because I never have been perfect. But one thing you can always say about me is I have, I love my kids with everything in me and I've done everything in my power to ever take care of my kids and protect them and love them and give them the best life possible. Um, I've never been a drug addict. I've never been an alcoholic, never been a gambling addict, never been a sex addict. I did kind of come close to becoming a sex addict years ago, but I never actually became an addict. I was able to turn it off um, back when I was dating a lot. And that's just the truth. Um, so I never actually became a sex addict because I knew I could turn it off. And I did. I've been celibate for three years. But these people have serious addictions. Like addictions, you, it's, you can't turn off or it's very, very hard to turn off. You have to actually break it, break the cycle. These people have free willingly chose not to break the cycles. Um, how that resonates and applies. But there's a whole gamut in there. I mean, my God, alcoholism, drug usage, um, gambling, um, Sex, addictions, I mean the whole mix up in there. Um, and like I said, I never have claimed to be perfect every day in my life. But at least, I, at least I know I can say I've never been an alcoholic. I've never been a drug user, a drug addict. Never been a drug addict. I've never been um, a gambling addict. And I've never been um, any kind of addict. Never been a sex addict. I became close to being a sex addict. 
but never, never became one. And that's just the truth. Of course, I've, I've been celibate for three years. So I'm just saying, but you plug it in how it resonates. That's really terrible. That is terrible. But that's what they get for trying to set up single mom Leo. Me. I know these people set me up. I know they did in my city. I know they did, but I think they set more of you guys up too. Not just me. And that's just the truth. An earth sign is about to get a huge wake-up call. A very, 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 very huge wake-up call. Very huge. They're about to start helping the situation in a huge way. And a water sign. Okay, I heard an earth sign and a water sign. So, for some, you could be the earth sign or the water sign. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You can have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, Manhattan, which your charts. Um, these people, uh, wake up call energy. Oh my God. And conveniently, it's on the top of the deck. Wake up call energy. It, these people already got the wake up call. They're about to. If you guys are the water sign or the earth sign over here, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. If you do, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Have you already got the wake up call about this situation? Or are you about to? Are you about to help the situation or are you, are you, I mean, or not how that resonates, but wake up call energy about to help the situation, at least two energies in the universe, if not more. Um, just saying, just saying. All the lies these people have told in the past is about to backfire on them in a huge, unexpected way soon. All the lies these people have told in the past are about to backfire on them in a huge, unexpected way soon. So you plug it in how it resonates. So some kind of huge, heavy lie energy here these people have told in the past. Um... It's about to backfire on them in huge, unexpected ways soon. Now, whatever the huge, unexpected ways are, it's about to backfire and boomerang energetically back upon them. I'm not sure. But um, it is about to energetically backfire upon them. Um, and it should. When things are not equally yoked and copacetic in the universe and there's imbalances there, like exploitation, abuse, spiritual abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse, financial abuse, etc., 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 or whatever, or sexual abuse, or what have you, what have you, um, or any uh, any kind of extreme imbalances in the universe. Th th this should happen, and it sounds like that that that's what is about to happen. The energy is about to shift back upon these people because they basically used and abused and set up single mom Leo, i.e., me and anybody else that fits in this category, and that's just the truth. That's what you get for putting negative into the universe. And a Pisces feminine is about to get very unexpected phone calls all over the place. And a Pisces masculine. All over the place. All over the place. Soon and quickly. They're not going to know what to say because they have lied so badly in the past. They're about to get so publicly humiliated and privately humiliated. One of these Pisces will transmute the energy and contact somebody very important to help fix this. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so we've got heavy Piscean energy in here, masculine, thin Pisces. They got Pisces in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or thin, and energy for charts. At least two, one masculine, and one thin. There may be more. But um, these people are about to get huge phone calls. I think maybe from you guys or these people or somebody else. A plethora of phone calls 
you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Maybe for some, you're about to call these people. Maybe for some, you are these people. But a huge ass plethora of phone calls. Plethora means a plenty. A shit ton of phone calls, basically. Um, about the past. And I, I heard they have lied so badly. This masculine and this fan Pisces has lied so badly on this situation of the past. The Secret 7 situation. Probably me or one of you guys. The setup situation, etc., etc., etc. That basically... When they get all these plethora, a shit ton, hordes of phone calls, they're not going to know what to say because they know they have lied so badly in the past. Um, but um, I heard they're going to get privately embarrassed and publicly embarrassed, probably from these phone calls and other, some other kind of public or private humiliation, that one of them is going to stand up and communicate to somebody very important soon because they know they have lied so badly in the past. So they're going to help make it right. And that's the right thing to do. And that's just the truth. And when they contact this important person to help make it right, it will go fast. This Pi one Pisces is a Mason. And they know exactly who to contact. Someone very, 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 very far from them. Far distance. And it is about to make it go very fast. Okay, one of these Pisces is a Mason, I heard, um, and I don't know if that's the one that's about to contact somebody very, very far away. I feel probably it is, but you have to plug it in how it resonates, but one of them is a Mason. One, there's one masculine, one femme at least, one's a Mason, and it sounds like the Mason is about to contact somebody very, very, very far away. Now, for some of them, it might not be the Mason about to contact somebody very far away, far away but from what I'm gathering from the channel messages, the Mason is about to contact somebody very, very, very far away from them that lives far, dis very, very, very far distances from them. I heard to help fix it. Um, but they know they have lied so badly in the past that basically um, they're about to help make it right. And I heard when they contact this very important person from very, very, very far distances from them, that basically it's going to make it go fast. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, but it's because it's not because I think they're sorry for what they did in the past. Because they intentionally help, I think these Pisces help uh, set up sing me, single mom Leo or any other single mom Leo or single mom or single dad, whoever, whoever, whoever in this mix, okay? Um, I don't I don't think it's because they feel bad about it. I think it's because it's just now it's becoming, reflecting badly upon their public image, their public reputation, who they are as a person with their integrities, morals, and values lying on me or lying on you guys or lying on and setting a, a part, single person up. I mean, who the hell does that? And that's just the truth. That's crazy. That's fucking insane in the membrane. They didn't want you be, to be successful, single mom Leo, but through many series of chain events, you're about to be. In a huge way. Okay, I heard they didn't want you to be successful, single mom Leo. So, single mom Leo or any other sign you are, if you fit over here, okay? They didn't want you to be successful, but through many series of chain events, you're about to be. But here's the thing, you guys, with, if you fit in over here, okay? Um... I know I do. I'm just saying. But this is for a lot of people, not just for me. Okay? Here's the deal. If you fit in over here, you plug it in how it resonates. You being successful is dependent upon yourself and the choices you make and the decisions you make and what you put out in the universe. Are you going to choose to transmute negative energy into positive energy? Are you going to choose to have a good day instead of a bad day? Are you going to choose to put yourself in positive copacetic environments to grow and manifest yourself? Are you going to choose to get out of negative situations or not be around negative people? Are you going to choose to be somebody sneaky link, sneaky lover and be you sexually or be abused mentally, physically, financially or otherwise? Okay. It's the choices you put in to the universe. Are you going to be a glutton? Are you going to be a sex addict? Are you going to be a gambling addict? Are you going to be an alcoholic? Are you going to be a druggie? Are you going to be not? Are you going to be clean? Are you going to help the universe? Are you going to love yourself and love the world? And no matter if you get bullied, targeted, harassed, gang salt, retaliated against, go out and make something of yourself. You see what I'm saying? It's the way I look at it. 
But I heard you're going to be successful, whether these people want you to be or not. And yes, because success is a mindset. It's a mindset. And that's just the truth. Not about how much money you have. It's about the mindset to go out there and grow that business, make that business, um, be successful in your job. Um, you know, go out there and help um, create, invent wonderful things, um, change the world in a positive way, whatever it is you choose to do. Okay. All right. I love you guys so much. I do. I do. I do. Namaste.